Mahi Mahi Fish Tacos. Does it get any better than this? Today we're gonna show you one of our favorite dishes and the way we make it on the Blackstone. If you wanna see our take on the Mahi Mahi Fish Taco, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. And today, so you don't miss cooking that we do together. Yeah, so you don't miss anything. Really, it's the cooking that we do together. But today, we are doing a banger. Right off the bat, I'm saying that more because I'm excited about all the groceries that go into this Mahi yes. Mahi fish taco. Now, as we did some research and as we've had before, you can do this breaded or unbreaded. We are doing this without the breading. And also when we went to pick our fish, they didn't have the biggest selection. We wish we would have been able to get more of this. We literally got what they had left. So, yep. but Brett, let's go ahead and show the people what we have and what we're talking about with the small amount of Mahi Mahi that we got. <laughs> but at least we had Mahi Mahi and we're not making tuna tacos. It, yeah, exactly right. Because uh, like, like we said, uh, this is what they had. And so this is what we got. As you can see right here, the star of the show is the Mahi that we have right up front. We're gonna be throwing on some fresh pico de gallo homemade that we we bought from the store. <laughs> we got some coleslaw that we're gonna be using as a bed. This amazing Mexican crema that we actually added some chipotle powder to. And then cotija cheese where you toss it on these mission tortilla shells. Right, absolutely. And I gotta say, obviously we would have loved to do corn tortillas. I just prefer the flour. I wanted the flour. Yes. I like the softness. Yep. I, I, for whatever reason, it just really makes these so refreshing. I really like it. Also, this coleslaw, this uh, this recipe does call for cabbage. Sometimes we've done fresh cabbage. This one specifically though, we wanted this, we wanted to make this simple. The coleslaw is just cabbage already yeah, thrown it's, together. It's white cabbage, it. red cabbage, and some carrots. That's, that's basically it. Also, this Mexican crema. So if you saw our Mexican street corn, you saw that that day, the stores that we had visited, we didn't, we weren't able to get Mexican crema. Nope. We weren't able to get cotija cheese. Right. This time we were able to find both, both and in we, one place. In one place and we were so excited because we got the grainy cotija cheese, which we want to sprinkle across the top after. And what we've done with the crema this time, instead of just having it pure, we threw in some chipotle pepper, some salt, some garlic powder, onion powder, and we mix that all in with some lemon juice. I'll go ahead and put our recipe for that below as well. You'll see it's gonna bring out this tanginess. I'm excited for you to try this so excited. with this fish taco. The mahi has been marinating for about 15 minutes. Yep. We just pulled it out right now. It's been in with lemon juice. Lemon juice, some salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's right. Oh, and Evu. And Evu, yes, extra virgin olive. And we will be cooking this actually on the Blackstone in Evu as well. But Brett, let's just get to the cook, bro. Yep, what we want to do is we want to start by warming up these tortillas. We're going to get them in our tortilla warmers. So, right, with these fish tacos, because we had so little fish, these will just be ours. We will not be sharing with the family. So sorry, <laughs> sorry, family. That's sorry, all family. they have. Yeah. Go ahead, so first things first, what we're going to do is just warm up these tortillas, and then Maybe we're going to toss 30 them. 30 seconds to a minute on each side. Right, and then fortunately, we're going to toss them in our tortilla warmer, which by the way, Father's Day gift, we use this way more than I really thought we would. I love this warmer. This keeps the tortillas so warm for so long, and I love it. We good? They're starting to bubble. Time to flippity flop. Arise to the top. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was a good idea, Adam. How about we just use the hand? Oh, bro. Those are great. Oh, bro. See that start to bubble up? That's all we're looking for is just to get those warm. See? Nice and toast hay. That's it, that's all we want. This has been on for about seven, eight minutes now, and that is up to temperature. We're looking at about 460 degrees. We are medium low for this cook. We do want this really hot as this fish hits. Um, it's got some lemon juice in there, some salt. <sighs> <laughs> some uh, onion powder, garlic powder? Onion powder and garlic powder. Nice. And so, um, and of course the lemon juice that we have. Now, this fish cooks relatively quick. And so uh, we are going to be tossing this on about three minutes per side and then pulling it. That's it. In fact, it might take as long to build these tacos as it does to cook the mahi mahi. All right, brother. It smells so good. <laughs> That's oh what we wanted. Oh my gosh, the We marinade. wanted the sizzle. Normally, we want a mahi, a big filet that's gonna be more than double the size of that, a nice thin filet. Literally, this is what we had, and again, we take what we can get on this, so that's about it. So we'll be watching for this. Brett, you said how long? Three minutes per side. I've got the time going, so you don't worry about that. All right, sitting for a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and toss a little S and P on there. S, a little P. There we go. Perfect, we just want a light dusting, and then we'll flip it, and we'll do the same thing to the other side. It's been three minutes and Adam is going to do the flippity flap 
I rise to the top. Let's bring back some of this oil. Let's put a little oil down. Yeah, there you go. I got you. Yep, got just you. a little oil there. There we go. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. All right. Look at that nice sear that we got there. All right. A little more S, a little P. Okay. There we go. Three more minutes and then we're going to get our build on. One thing we did want to mention really quickly is we do have a Patreon page. It's one more way in which people can support what we love to do, which is cooking and doing these videos. Patreon is a multi-tiered system where you can maybe support us on a different level or different levels. And this will give you uh, maybe uh, some, actually will give you behind the scene footage, some some pictures, maybe some <laughs> outtakes. Oh, some, some outtakes. outtakes. Yeah, sure. the blooper reels we call the leftovers. <laughs> the uh, merchandise as well as discount on merchandise and future merchandise. Right, and one of the perks is also a shout out. And we do have a shout out for one of our awesome patrons, Ken Medellis. Thank you so much, Ken for supporting us. We're totally humbled by the fact that you want to help support us. It means so much to us. So thank you, Ken. You're amazing. And we can't wait until you get to see more of what we're about, including access to our recipes, among other things. So thank you so much, Ken. So with that, Brett, let's get to and the And our other Patreons. Yes. The rack is still hot. Yes. We could grab it. We felt silly carrying a rack together. But so now we're carrying a cutting board <laughs> with the rack. But these are incredible. We want them to stay upright so we don't lose the goodness that is these fish tacos. First uh, of all, let's talk about the cook. Yeah, uh, six minutes. I total think time. It ended up being seven total. Total time. And that was perfect cooked all the way through. I would have loved some big mahi mahi fillets. We got what we had and I will tell you, it smelled spectacular. And it, when I cut through with the fork, it just broke apart. It was exactly what I was hoping And for. when I pulled the mahi out of the bag, the marinade smelled absolutely amazing. So right. this is great. This is, we've seen some recipes. This was our take. So kind of our own little twist with this. And we've seen a lot of people using lime. We went all lemon, all lemon on this one. Right, and, and that was something we even talked about before. Any citrus is gonna orange, work. Orange, orange if you want. <laughs> uh, we actually talked about doing the lime. We actually, we happened to have a whole bunch of lemons. We used what we had, which is sometimes what we like to do as well. Just remind you that it, just because you don't have the lime, use what works for you. Uh, we couldn't get a big filet of mahi-mahi. Use what works for you. We finally had access to the Mexican crema and the cotija cheese, which I was super yes. excited about. And we wanted to spice up the crema, which by the way, the crema was so good. It was so good. And we threw in that chipotle pepper, salt, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, mix that in with lemon, with uh, lemon juice, a freshly squeezed lemon. And so I'm excited for that pop of lemon in that as well. I, and we'll put that recipe down below if this is a success. Uh, but really, Brett, hurry. Like, I'm trying to hurry. just like find other words to say. What else can we talk about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but Brett, that like that we is. say though, it can look amazing. I am really I happy would, with the way I would go to a that. restaurant if I just saw that on the, on the oh window. It can smell amazing. The whole entire, like I said, for my time, the I pulled time. from the marinade to now. Yes, but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for naught. And, ooh, 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 nice. Ooh. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh my fresh as can be. That is juicy all over. 
I need some more crema on that, man. Dude, I want some more crema on that with that fish, with that mahi. Wow. Oh my word. Huge success. Yes. We make a lot of cooks. Yep. We do a lot of these and we love the bangers. We love getting them out there. I would say of all the ones we've done, we joke about having a, a food truck and all this. This is one that to me, I am legit proud of because we took the Mexican crema, we did, we developed our own sauce for it, uh, which by the way, is probably not our own. It might be, <laughs> well, it might be out there, it's, but it's, it's our own take on different sauces and, and variations that we've seen and that we've tried before. Right. When I did the, the shrimp tacos, it's kind of a different variation of this. Right. Didn't use the crema, but e either way. In talking about it, we we thought, thought man, getting all the lemon, the pico, the, the cabbage, all that, we could put that on a shrimp taco. We could put it with shredded beef, shredded chicken, and this would be a spectacular, spectacular taco. Do you think if we submitted this to Sam the Cooking Guy, he'd put it in his restaurant, not not tacos? Oh. <laughs> if you Sam. know Sam, if you're watching, <laughs> Sam, as I'm sure you are, <laughs> the Wall Twins have a mahi mahi fish taco with an incredible crema sauce that we think would be delectable in your restaurants or just for you to try. Yes, you do have a, a delicious fried mahi mahi taco. <laughs> right? Oh, which by the way, this would have been, I was wondering about that fried, this is so good, so fresh, and it would have been just as good fried. Yep, I love fried. I love the fried fish, so that would have been amazing. But Brett, we could sit here and talk about this all day long. We literally could. Again, <laughs> shout out to Ken. Thank you so much for your patronage. Don't forget to check the link below for that. Also, check down below for some of the products that we've used in today's cook. We are also Amazon affiliates. If you click the link and purchase anything through those links, it does give us a little bit of a kickback and no additional charge to you. And it's just one more way that you can support us. And we really appreciate it. If you don't know, this is what we love to do and want to continue doing what we love to do and getting better at it. Yes, so. absolutely. But keep giving us your suggestions and ideas. Thank you so much for the recommendation on this one. We loved it and we're super thrilled with how this one turned out. And I say this, we've made these fish tacos before, but yep. this was new with the crema, with the salsa on that, we love that. But aside from coming to make these unbelievably delectable fish tacos, mahi mahi fish tacos. Mahi mahi, ah. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And it's Forget, Forget to, to like and subscribe, subscribe. and griddle on. on.